guys, I'm here with Mike Anthony, chef of Gramercy Tavern, and we are at the Green Market in Union Square, and he's gonna show us a little bit of what he looks for. Most of the food that I eat at home comes from here, too. Speaking of food at home, we should mention you have a beautiful new cookbook coming out, the Gramercy Tavern Cookbook. It's a very approachable group of recipes, highlighting ingredients from local farms, presented in a way that make it really easy for people to feel confident uh, and comfortable with those recipes. Awesome. All right, so we are going to check out Norwich Meadows Farm. It is an organic farm, a certified organic farm. So organic's not the most important to you, but it's more looking to see that it's fresh and healthy. What's most important healthy. to me is that it's grown near here. I want to buy the food that I eat from people I know. Mike I have it. is the most popular guy at this farmer's market, I have to say. Eating meat. Meet Zaid, the owner of this farm. Hi Zaid, I'm Lauren. Nice to meet you. Oh wow. Oh, there look at are. these. Kyoto carrots. Oh, these are the Kyoto carrots. In Japanese, they call them Kyoninjin. So these Mike saw on a trip to Kyoto asked Zaid if he could grow them, right? Yeah, and then exactly. Zaid grew these just for you, basically. Now a lot of people like to buy them there. <laughs> When I look for, for beets, I'll look for kind of uniformly shaped, medium-sized beets um, that are super firm. When you see these roots attached, you know that that plant was alive days ago. Maybe even yesterday they pulled this beet out of the ground. You also look for kind of lively stems and leaves because you also know that the whole plant was, was really healthy. You know, when you look at plants like this kale, this is a Russian kale that Zaid is really so famous for. If you look at the cut bottoms, none of these are dried out. You can see that they're still... Yeah, very like if green. If you just put your fingernail, they're, they're literally moist and wet. Um, and if you look at the way the, um, the grains are, not, there are no tips that are um, burnt or yellow or brown. I think people are intimidated by these leafy greens. They say to themselves, I don't know what to do with this. Wash it, and then in a pan, uh, with a drizzle of olive oil and maybe a smashed clove of garlic, then it's super delicious. You take it out of the pan and, you know, chop it up and all of a sudden like kind of this like slightly intimidating, not so familiar ingredient adds something really special to, yeah. you know, to a dish at home. All right, cauliflower. Look at these guys. Once you peel these leaves away, you know, that's a five pound Holy moly, that is heavier than I expected it to People be. People talk about the cost of food in the green market versus the supermarket, but you can eat the whole thing. You're not going to waste anything in the garbage. Not to mention oh, that at, like, it's just what? flat out exciting like, to find these colors. And look at these crazy colors, guys. You don't have to just get white. When you buy something really beautiful like this, you can take an ordinary day, look forward to cooking dinner. It's almost like a celebration when you get to take something cool like this home. And, and make a dinner, you know, with it. Yeah. Right? I, look, I look forward to those things. I do too, especially when it's cooked by you <laughs> at Gramercy Tavern. So clearly Mike has taught us so much. I can't wait to, to go home and cook from the cookbook. Thank you, I, I hope you have a great time. <laughs> I will, and I, I wanna just eat at Gramercy Tavern right now. 